Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. In this edition of the Apogee Rocketry Workshop, I'm going to show you how to install a payload into the payload section of a model rocket. Now there are many model rocket kits that have payload bays and sometimes the payload bay is too short to fit the altimeter payload. And I'm going to show you how to modify that. Um, so first what we're going to do is we're going to take our, our payload tube and take the ends off of it. And you'll notice that sometimes there is a little tab sticking on the forward end of the coupler and there's also a tab on the back end of the, of the nose cone. So the first thing we want to do is to cut those off. Now if it's a plastic coupler, um, it can get kind of hard. So I recommend using a razor saw like this and then it's just a matter of, of cutting it off. Now on the uh, nose cone side, I actually want to cut off the whole entire base and what that will do is open up this whole section here where I can put in the altimeter. So I'm just going to start probably about an eighth of an inch from the end using the razor saw. Go ahead and cut through that. And the plastic cuts pretty easy and uh, as you can see I'm kind of rotating it around as I'm cutting to make sure that I get a nice straight cut. Now when I put it in, I should have plenty of room for the altimeter. Now the next thing we need to do is to pad the altimeter so it doesn't rattle around in there. Now on your altimeter, and if you are using an altimeter for your science fair project, you'll notice that one side has the sensor. This is the sensor, this small one right here with a little hole in it. Now this we want to put on the opposite end of the nose cone. as far away from the nose cone as possible. Uh, to pad it, I'm going to use a piece of foam rubber like this and if you don't have a piece of foam rubber, just go down to the store and buy a, buy a big old sponge and that will do the same thing. And then it's just a matter of cutting it into like a, a cylinder. And what I'll do is I'm going to just take a marker and just kind of draw around it. So I got a nice circle like that. And I'm going to take a, a sharp hobby knife. Look how easy that cuts. And I'll just cut around it until I get a nice cylinder piece. Okay, so right now it doesn't look like a cylinder, but uh, I can smash it down and kind of trim off the edges. And if you take your time, I'm doing this kind of fast, but you can get it pretty close to being a cylinder. So it's a little bit tight right now, so I'll, I'll keep trimming it down. Okay, it's, it's a lot looser now. And there's a number of ways you can do this. You could actually cut it in half and wedge a piece of foam on each side, or you could cut a little trough in it like I did on this one. Cutting the trough is basically the same. Just, just run your knife down the side. But you don't want to go all the way through. thick on one side. But the idea is to keep it so that it doesn't rattle around inside the rocket. Okay, so I'm okay right now. Now the next thing we need to do is to drill a hole into the payload bay. And it can't go on the shoulder. And you can see I'm just using a little pin vise with a small drill bit and the hole size 
uh, will be specified by the manufacturer of the altimeter that you're using. And it's usually a pretty small hole, and they do recommend that you put several holes all the way around the, the rocket body tube. I'm just going to do two. I'm going to put one on either side. Okay, so remember when we put this in, we want the sensor towards the holes. And if you put it into your foam, make sure that your foam doesn't cover up the holes, so that the, the sensor is not affected by the foam. And if it sticks forward, the back end, which is the piezo, which makes the beeps, that will be inside the nose cone, and that's okay. So basically, I've just now mounted the, the altimeter into a payload bay, and then I can stick it on my rocket and launch it. And if you've liked these videos, please be sure to visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. My name, again, is Tim Van Milligan, and this is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop.